Morning everybody. Got a little bit of a different project to work on today. It's a head pipe off of a, uh, I think it's a 2016 Harley Ultra. And uh, the owner of this particular machine has enlisted me in a um, slight modification. Basically, we're going to open up this uh, section of the exhaust right here to remove the catalytic converter material. And I have to say, uh, on my part, this is a uh, off-road use only modification. My tentative plan is I'm going to cut a hole right here and uh, that should expose the matrix and uh, then it should just be a matter of prying it out of the hole until you get all the bits out of there and then we'll uh, weld this uh, the piece that we cut open we'll try not to make a mess out of the cut lines take that piece off go to put it back on we'll weld it up and then grind it smooth so that it looks somewhat stock and uh, I'm guessing this will be one of those things where it's easier said than done looks like there's a clamp of some sort that runs across here one of these like a hose clamp so I'll stay away from that looking in this and with a flashlight it looks like the core starts somewhere in here so I don't want to I don't want to make the hole any bigger than it needs to be so I think we'll go like that Be poking fun of my artistic abilities. Alright, I think we're going to get to cutting. Looks like this material is pretty thick, so that should help. That should help when we're welding it back up. All right, I think I just created the world's smallest cutoff disc, but I was able to get this cut done without changing wheels. Let's see what we got here. I don't want to bend this up. Okay, so that's our cover. I 
I want to try and get this out in as few as pieces as possible as possible that might be asking a little bit too much even this stuff shredded in a Ziploc bag is worth something okay. so I probably should have made this cut just a little bit wider so that you could get underneath of it I know some people will cut uh, grooves in the catalyst but I think in this case we're getting to where we can force this guy out of here majority of it right there. Now I'm just going to go in and scrape all this loose stuff out of here and uh, scrape the lid clean and uh, we'll be ready to weld it back together. Alright so I think I've got this part cleaned up as much as I care to. You'll go insane if you try and get every single little speck of that catalyst detached from the body. It's not that important. So, went ahead and uh, ground the edges. Same with this guy. Got him cleaned up pretty good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll find some welding rod or something to uh, lay across this thing so I can get the cover tacked into its same height that it used to be and that'll keep a consistent gap all the way around it. And uh, I don't have a TIG welder so I'm going to uh, just kind of tack this guy back together, treat it like body work with a uh, MIG welder and then we'll probably, like I said earlier, grind it all smooth so that it looks somewhat factory. But so far, I think it's uh, coming along swimmingly. All right, so we got the trusty old Lincoln fired up. Just getting ready to start tacking this guy back together. I'm gonna sacrifice a couple of zip ties as my spacers. And uh, I don't really have the equipment to show this weld being done all the way. So, like I said, I'm just going to treat it like I'm doing a body panel or a rust repair where I'm just going to go kind of bounce around and uh, fill in the gap until it's fully welded in. So let's get that done. Hopefully this doesn't take forever. All right, we got her all zippy zappy back together. I didn't intend for these welds to be beautiful. Just got to make sure that there's no holes, no leaks. Probably took about 25 minutes. I literally was just having to zap it. There was no running a bead. It would just blow holes right through it. So I'm going to spend another 20 minutes or so with a flap disc and uh, we'll get this all cleaned up and then it should be ready to go back on. All right, here's the finished product. All told, I probably got a couple hours into it from beginning to end. I think it turned out pretty good to the untrained eye. Probably never know. Somebody might fit, pick up on the sander marks, but it is what it is. It still has the uh, Harley Davidson information on the side of it. I made sure not to disturb that. But yeah, it's ready to ship back to the owner. And uh, hopefully they'll be off riding into, uh, into the desert of, uh, yeah, Mexico. Yes, 
that's where it belongs. If you guys have any questions on uh, how to do this, although I think the video is pretty self-explanatory, uh, be sure to put them in the comments. And uh, by all means, there are other ways to do this. I think a lot of people have just figured out that this is the easiest way to do it. But some guys will go in through here with some uh, drill bits and whatnot and try and break that thing up. And that, that is doable, but uh, I think it's easier to just cut it open. So anyways, hopefully this helps somebody. I know this isn't groundbreaking, it's not revolutionary, and I'm certainly not the first person to have ever done this, but it's just how I did it. Y'all have a good one.